Okay, so in this episode, we're going to take this substance created material here and take it into RenderMan using the Pixar Metal pattern to actually use this metallic map here and set it up so we can render it. Basics here in Solaris, here's the ball and I created a material library. And inside this, I have a Pixar material build node in my example here. I'm just gonna go into this one. And this is the, the workflow here. And now let's create this from scratch here. So let's, I can, I can do this here, either in a Pixar material build a node. Let's do that, Pixar, Pixar material builder, like so. I'm just gonna jump into this. Oh, we can say metal two, like this, and go inside. And the first ingredient here, we want to have a pixel surface and pump it in there. And, and then I'm just gonna go in here to my other node here and take all of my texture read nodes. But essentially Pixar texture like so is the texture read node. And I'm just gonna browse to my location. I'm just gonna take my base color utility here, except plug this into my diffuse here and see here what happens first off here, diffuse color. I'm just gonna assign this new material, Metal 2 here, into the material assignment. Go to this one and render and see here what we have at this stage here. So you can see here, we don't have any metallic uh, going here at the moment. So now let's jump back. I'm just gonna take all of my maps that I used here, copy and paste them. So this one is the diffuse here. Let's take a look here and name this properly as well. So this is metallic, this is the specular roughness, and this is a normal map. So we need a Pixar metal workflow now. This is the first ingredient. And I'm gonna plug this diffuse color into the base color and plug the diffuse into the color here. At the moment it will look exactly the same, but look here now when I insert the metallic map into the metallic slot. The places where we had color is now essentially gonna be black. And that is because in RenderMan, metallic objects essentially zero diffuse. So it takes the metallic map and, and adds essentially the mask, multiplies it with essentially black. And then you get some extra outputs here that is meant to drive the specular response. So you get the face and edge color. So if I hover over this one, it's, it's a bit hard to know which one is which here. You have to hover over and you see specular edge color. So this one, I'm just gonna pipe it. I can expand this one. Edge color to edge color and face color to face color. And now all of a sudden we're starting to get metallic response here. However, the roughness is not correct yet. So we're gonna take my roughness, make the roughness there, and there we go. Now it starts to look a bit more. Now we need to hook up the normal map. So I'm just gonna, this is an RGB map. I'm just gonna take a normal or normal map. And this is how I use this. I'm plug this into the input RGB. And I'm gonna use my result NG into a bump mixer. So bump mixer, this is the new bump um, node here that expects surface gradient. And that is the result NG like so. And take the result normal into the global input here into the bump. And now we get some scratches here as well. And that's essentially it. So you need to have a metallic map that is plugged into the metallic and the base color, and then plug the result uh, edge and face color into the corresponding inputs on the pixel surface. And now it will look like it did here in substance or for example, if you would use a principal BRDF in Mari, it will be the same workflow. It's also producing metallic maps. 